Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brendan from Modern To Me, and today, just on a quick little aside tutorial, we're going back to the basics, and I am teaching you a fifth operator. We've learned all the basic operators. Let's just review real quick. I'm sure you remember them all, but we had addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And you're probably thinking, isn't that like all you can do? Is there really another operator? Yes, there is. This operator is called the modulus, and you type it by typing the percent sign. Yeah, it's, it sounds kind of weird, right? Well, it's actually not that hard. What it is, is it's essentially just division, but instead of returning the actual quotient, it returns the remainder. So let's say, let's say you're dividing nine divided by two. Well, the answer is about four and a half, right? Well, you can also think of it as the answer is 4 with a remainder of 1. So 9 modulus 2 is equal to 1. So that's all there is to it. You could also do like, if you did like 11 modulus 3, you would get 2 because 11 divided by 3 would be about 3.6666, 3, 3 and 2 thirds. So the remainder for that would be uh, or the quotient would be 3 with a remainder of 2, so the modulus would, of 11, 11 modulus 3 would also be 2. Let's just make a simple little program real quick just to kind of demonstrate this topic just a little bit more, actually use it in some code. So we're going to go ahead and import java.util.scanner. Alright, and we are just going to create a little scanner, scanner input just create this real quick. I'm sure you're pros at this now. There we go. Oh, computer's bailing on me. There we go. Okay, so now we have our scanner. Let's close it real quick. Just so we don't forget. Like I always freaking do. Okay, and we're going to type our code in the middle of that. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, let's get two integers from the user. So let's prompt the user system dot out dot print and we're gonna say we're gonna tell them enter an integer okay and now we are going to create this integer int we'll just name it int one and we'll set it equal to input dot next int and so they'll be able to input their own integer and now we'll create the second integer and we will Oops. Let's prompt for this one too. It kind of skips that step. We're just trying to get two integers. I'm sure you could probably figure that out on your own. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the new part of the code. Let's name it. Let's create an int called remainder. Remainder. I think I spelled that right. Yep. And we will set it equal to int one modulus int 2. Oops, let's put some spaces. Looks nicer. There we go. Okay, so if you, can, if you can't tell by just looking at the code, what this is going to do is it's going to set this new integer called remainder equal to the modulus of uh, int 1 modulus int 2. So it equal to the remainder of int 1 divided by int 2. And now let's just print this out. System.out.printf. Let's get a little fancy with this. And we'll just go the remainder of percent d divided by percent d is percent d <laughs> and just and for the arguments it looks kind of weird but actually just type in one into and remainder there and that's actually all there is to it um the arguments might look a little confusing with like 3% Ds, but it's actually not bad. You just type the integers in order, and that's it. Let's run it. So when we run our program, enter an integer. Let's just test it out real quick. If we go 11 and 3, the remainder of 11 divided by 3 is 2. Perfect. So now you can get real crazy with it. You can go 195,305, 303 and then 367 and our remainder is 59 so 
you created a uh, your own little calculator here to get the remainder of any sort of number that you want to divide. One more real quick thing right, right here. Um, there is a special kind of fancy thing you can do with string outputs. And I just want to show you real quick. I feel like it could kind of fit. So the there are a couple things you can do within these strings right here. And they mainly have to do with this backslash. Yeah, just a backslash. That's actually all it is. If you tried typing that right there, you, you actually get an error. And it says invalid escape sequence. So when you type a backslash, it's actually signaling to your compiler that you're going to type one of these escape sequences. And you can see there's a list of them here. The main one is backslash n. And what this does is this creates a new line right within your code. So I've taught you that print ln creates a new line at the end of the line and then print will not go to a new line. But if we run this, we'll see enter an integer six, three. You see that this enters in a new line right within the same method. So it says the remainder of six and then just skips and then it says three is zero. So uh, this backslash n is probably the most useful of these these escape sequences. There's others if you want to look into them, but I definitely think you should know the backslash n. Just thought that would kind of fit. It's kind of one of the more basic things I didn't get to teach you earlier on. So I wanted to pair this off with the fifth operator. So next tutorial, we'll be hitting on random numbers. Definitely encourage you to check that out. That is so essential to game development. So I'll see you guys there.